I'm going to show you how to work a really simple buttonhole. And this method happens to be my favorite way of working buttonholes. And you're going to have to follow your pattern. The, the, the technique is the same regardless of how big you need to make the buttonhole, but you'll need to follow the pattern uh, using your gauge and the size of button you want to use to determine how many stitches you're going to bind off. Let me show you how this goes. So I'm going to put a buttonhole here in the middle of my work, just for example's sake here. So I'm going to knit two and bind off one, knit one and bind off another one. Now I've bound off two stitches. Remember when you're binding off stitches, actually pulling the one stitch over should count as the bind off, none of the knitting part. And then I'll knit across to the end so that I can get back onto the wrong side. Okay. Now the second row of the buttonhole is the final row. Oops. My needles are clacking against the table. I'm going to work up, in this case I'm purling, work up to the gap where I bound off those two stitches. Here I am. Big gap here. Now, uh, based on the number of stitches that you bound off, you're going to cast on stitches here. And since I bound off two, I'm going to cast on two using the backwards loop cast on method. So I cast on two and I work across the rest of the row. And then from here on out, you're just going to follow the directions to work the pattern as usual, and you're going to uh, work those stitches you just cast on as usual, and you're left with a nice buttonhole there. And with my gauge and two stitches, it looks like that would probably accommodate like a three-quarter inch buttonhole or something. And that's how to work a very simple buttonhole. Thank <laughs> you.